Here's another good example for you to try. So pause the video, try this one out, and then restart. And we are going through the answer right now. y equals 2x minus 7. So I've identified the equation solved for y. I'll be placing, substituting the expression 2x minus 7 in place of this y in the other equation. And now I'm recopying this equation that I just substituted into. 3x, now we have minus 3 times y. So minus 3 times the expression 2x minus 7 equals 1. Now careful with the distribute. It's another negative coefficient. So we'll need to multiply through a negative 3. We're starting the equation with 3x. Then negative 3 times 2x equals negative 6x. And negative 3 times negative 7 equals positive 21 equals 1. Now we've got some like terms. 3x minus 6x equals negative 3x. Bringing down plus 21 equals 1. Now we'll subtract 21 from both sides to get negative 3x equals negative 20. And lastly, divide both sides by negative 3. Now we cannot simplify further a 20 over 3, but since numerator and denominator are both negative, we should be writing this now as a positive number. A negative divided by negative equals a positive, but the 20 over 3 cannot be simplified further. So now let's substitute 20 over 3 in place of this x all the way back here y equals 2 times 20 over 3 minus 7. We've got order of operations. The multiply first, 2 times 20 will make 40 over 3. Now minus 7. To get this 7 into a, an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 3, I'm just going to multiply by 3 over 3 to see negative 21 over 3. That's a fraction that equals 7. And it's got the common denominator, so let's do the subtract and we see 19 over 3, or 19 thirds. So again, a couple of fractions, but they do check out, and there's our ordered pair solution. Keep in mind that we've got the x value first, the y value second, and our solution, 20 thirds and 19 thirds.